we have struck land. Ooh. Whew. Finally guys, we made it. We're out here in the marsh. Had to leave super early today. Today we're in the Impulse 120. I don't have the motor today. It's currently getting worked on. So I had about three, four miles to go. Still tired. So I left at five in the morning. It's just now 6.10 and three, four mile run, man. Let's see if we can get on some reds. Hopefully this trip isn't for nothing. I haven't been here in about six, seven months. So we're gonna see if we got some reds. Hopefully we get a video going. All right guys, see y'all then. Check this out guys. Look at this big pot of drum right here. Where's that reds? I think that's reds. Huge school of reds. I don't want my phone off. It's pretty neat. That's awesome, guys. All right, let's get, to, get some cast in. See if I can maybe get another. There we go. Got two. Got to. Dang. <laughs> Let me put this in the rod holder real quick. God dang. Seem to be some good reds. Man. That was a big old pod, guys. That was a big old pod. Man. Decent red, man. Decent red. Those are all big guys. There's probably 20 of them in that freaking pod. What a catch. I did break them up, but it's all right, man. There'll probably be another school. If I'm lucky, I'll get another school. There's one. Good fish, probably about 26 or so. Get this guy in. That's what it's about guys. Enjoying nature, getting on some big old reds. <laughs> Come on guy. Let me actually open this bale so. Uh, it doesn't matter, it's tangled at the tip anyhow. <clears throat> Get this guy out real quick. Guy, I'm gonna move you real quick. There we go. Come here. Oh yeah. Man, that's a solid, solid fish. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. Get this off real quick. Get 
this big guy measured up first. Ooh, man, solid freaking fish. Man, I've been good. Turn that red, man. Twenty-seven and a half. Twenty-seven and a half inch red. Put the gun in the net, get a measurement, some picks here in a sec, and get this guy loaded out. Let's see, little three inch gold. This guy is 25 and a half. Sweet, let's get some pictures and then we'll get that release. Actually, we'll just go ahead and release this guy right now. Beautiful red. Man, guys, it was just a freaking tails, man. That's freaking awesome. That is awesome, guys. I like to beat that. I was hoping I would see that. Hoping I would see that. Let's see. Quick measurement of this guy. Make sure it's zeroed out. There you go, seven eight. So seven eight minus point three four for the grips. So he's about seven five. Seven and a half pound red. Sweet guys, that's what it's about right there. That's what it's all about. Hi right, guys, I got a pot of reds right here in front of me, and then I got a pot of reds over there. If y'all can see them over there too, there's some nice reds. Let me get my other rod because I know I may get a chance at a double hookup. Right here, guys, they're pretty close. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. There's one. Let's see if I can get another. If I don't get them on this cast now. But man, there's a whole other school over there, guys. Look at that. At that tip of the grass. God dang. Maybe I hooked another good one. Man, that's a good pod over there. Amazing pod. Oh, he pulled. And he pulled. Hook look bent? Nah, I'm tripping. Nah, not bent. He must have just got off somehow. That's freaking awesome. Oh, it's all right. There's another school out there. Let's go get that school done. There goes one out there. Find one of his buddies that he was traveling with. Let's see where that other pot is. I think they went up that stream, but they were tight. They were tight with each other. Man, there's so many tails and such a small space. Pretty cool. Look at this.
There we go. Not a big one, but he's a guy. Okay, chill. What the heck? That is weird. That is weird. I ain't never seen anything like that. <laughs> Gotta get a freaking picture of this stuff. weird guys Ugh. the boy got some deformities going on let's see if we can get on some more all right guys we got some reds right here cruising the shoreline I don't think he looks very big I can see his back exposed but then again it's kind of shallow there once he comes out this grass line, maybe we'll get a better chance at him. Yeah, he's coming out. God dang. <laughs> Pull it right out of his mouth, man. <laughs> he freaking thumped the crap out of it. Did he not want it? He chased it. It's coming right at me. He turned. He look. He's looking for it. Finally. That's good. I was I missed so many man. The ones I've missed have been way bigger than this because you can barely see his back exposed. The other ones, man, their whole backs are exposed. Fighting good. Take that back. This looks like a decent red. <laughs> looks like a decent red, man. It's actually a little bigger than I thought. He's starting to grow on me. Probably mid slot. Maybe not. Maybe upper. That's cool. Nah, right, mid slot. God damn, I can't net. There we go. Nice fish. Let me get my grippers real quick. Took him a while to find it. Every time it would hit the water, he would flip around and 
and uh, look for it. That's why I need to make a good accurate cast. I wasn't very accurate, but managed to get in front of his face. There's another one right there awakened. See the shrimp coming out the water? He is another 25 inch here. Not a bad fish, man. You know, for 25 inches, these fish are pretty freaking healthy, man. God dang. Man, this guy's not coming off. Man, I got, got him good. There With the 16th ounce jig head. I know he's tw only 25, but I still want to get away. Because, man, these 25s are. He's looking thick. <clears throat> Make sure it zeroes out. There we go. Yeah. This is a good one. Being 25. It's not bad. There you go, guys. Good freaking red. Alright, guys. Check this out. Got a school of reds coming right at me. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. I'll cast it over here to the side. Maybe I won't split that school. Look at that, look at this. This is insane, guys. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, they definitely split. <laughs> Dang. guys so we went ahead and busted up the other school but as I turn that corner here we go another pack of reds man they have been everywhere it's been insane guys I've seen the bigger ones are in front there's two pods one in the front and one about 10 yards behind them in the rear but man I want those big ones looks like they're turning around I want those big ones Good reds in there. Look at those backs, big backs. Very nice big backs. Make that black cloud in the water. Dang, there's a few of them. Actually, let me keep going. No. Alright, guys. I'm just sitting and waiting for this pod to come out right towards me. Looks like they split, actually. Huh. They must have seen me. Surprised they split.
There we go. There's one. That school went ahead and split because they saw me. But I got one. Look bright, bright copper. Super bright copper. I knew if I just tossed it in there, eventually something would pick it up. Cause I first cast in there, I felt a little thump. God dang. Man, that's a beautiful copper, man. <clears throat> that's an amazing copper. Talk about a solid red, guys. Talk about a freaking solid red. Where's my... Oh, put him back here. That is a nice red. Absolutely amazing. Oh. Check that out. That's that gold, man. That's freaking awesome. He's a thick guy, too. He's a thick guy. Ugh. Let's see. I mean, I, I, I got to pinch him to touch 27, but he's a nice freaking red. <clears throat> Pinch tail, 27 inches. The other red was 27 and a half. Let's see how much this weighs. Okay. Not that bad, guys. Sweet. That is a beautiful freaking red. What an amazing sight. You just don't see them like that back in our hometown. Man. But I know closer you get towards uh, Matagorda and Galveston, they get super copper colored. But I'm going to go ahead and see if we can go get some more. Man, beautiful. Alrighty guys, we're outside the marsh and we're all finished up. We're on our way in and boy, it was a hell of a day. I caught a few solos, but the solo fish were very finicky, man. You really had to work it in front of them. They were spooking left and right. But whenever I found them schools and big school and reds, it was on. A lot of mid to upper slot reds, very good quality reds. The color on them is absolutely beautiful, man. There were some that were so copper. Some that were gray. But the copper ones were just badass. You can tell they've been in there for a long time when they get a super bright copper. But other than that, guys, I hope you all liked the video. And all my products will be listed down below. And you all have a great day.